Come out, come out, wherever you are! Yeah. The current! Huh? Ha-ha! Uh-oh! Uh, gotta swing faster! Yeah. Ready! Uh, hey. Over here! She's being swept away by that undersea current. We have to save her. Uh, agreed. But who's going to save us? All right. Now, how do I get back out? You can't dodge me forever. That's right. And there's no one here to help us. Oh, maybe there is. What was that? Oh, the pod responding to call. The black and whites. Oh, they don't usually patrol this reef. I can't let them nab me. I better beat it. Good thinking, Shellington. The only thing that can scare a big fish is an even bigger fish. Well, yes. But technically, orcas are dolphins, which are mammals. There's a shark, sir. Should we nab him? Forget it. It's Coral Reef. We'll never find him in there. The current that carried me ashore was strong. But then I realized, if those baby eels got caught in it too, they had to be somewhere close by. Ow! Oh, I swear you were stepping. You said that? I did. <gasps> baby eels! You're so transparent that you're practically invisible. No wonder no one saw you. Koshi, are you all right? Yes, and I found the missing eels. Hi, when we're little, being transparent helps protect us from predators. Amazing! Your family has been very worried. We want to go home! I think we can help with that. You found them? Oh, how can we ever thank you? Just doing our jobs. Uh, how about a family picture? Everyone say seaweed! Seaweed! See anything, Peso? Nothing yet. Just a lot of sand. Wait, I see some trees over there. Let's take a closer look. There he is. Barney, are you all right? Captain Barnacles, yes indeed. Thanks to my new friends, the camels. Attention, Octonauts. We've found Parney and he's safe. Sending you our location now. Aye, aye, Captain. Be there faster and you can see bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Already here. Well, now that your friends have found you, we'll be on our way. Thank you, my friends. Uh, can we offer you a ride? No, we prefer to walk. Farewell, Parney, my friend. Farewell. Glad you're all right, Pani. Think you forgot something, though. I did indeed. It wasn't too smart of me to go into the desert unprepared. We're just glad you're safe. Help! Help! Sounds like my friends are in trouble. We must go. Full speed ahead, matey! Stay back! Oh, oh. Shiver me! Whiskers, he's sinking into the sand. Ah, yes, that's quicksand. Loose sand that behaves kind of like water. Help! Help! Everyone stay calm. I'll lower a tow line. And I'll tie it around him so you can lift him out. No, stay back. It's too dangerous. That's never stopped me before. Wait, if it acts like water, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Pass me the rope, Quasi! Flappity flippers! What's he doing? Barney, no! Turn back! <laughs> that was your plan? Honey! <laughs> now, Captain! Look! 
It's a sandstorm. Steady as she goes. Yeah, I'm not sure how steady she can go under these conditions. about how to... Barney? Where'd he go? Quasi, do you? Quasi? Tweak. The octopod gave it her all. Good news, everyone. We've arrived at the water hole. <laughs> it looks like these clouds aren't going away anytime soon. Right, Pony? It should rain any moment now. But where's Peso and my little one? I'm keeping an eye out for him. Dashy, keep trying to get Peso on the radio. Captain, look. Mom! <laughs> my little one. <laughs> First, Pesa found me, and then he protected me from a sandstorm, and then I thought I smelled rain. And so we followed the smell until we saw the clouds, and that's how we found you. Oh, I'm so happy you're back. Thank you, Peso. We were a good team. He's a very brave elephant. It's finally, officially raining! This den has been in my family for many generations, and I have not been here for many, many months. Enjoy your time off, Professor. Do you need anything before we head back to the octopod? All I need is waiting inside. Stash is full of food, my books, and plenty of peace and quiet. Brr. The weather was just starting to warm up back in Antarctica. But winter is just getting started here in the Arctic. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> hey, huh? What, what? I do not remember leaving that book there. And how did the family portrait get so crooked? <sighs> now for a good night's sleep. <sighs> Here. Me? What are you doing here? This is my home. <laughs> I live here. Ha! Ah, since when? Since the weather warmed up and I headed north and I found this place and I moved in. What can I say? It's what red foxes do. Yes, yes. Only you moved into a burrow that my family built. Which is what arctic foxes do. Oh, well, they did nice work. But too bad. <laughs> Finders keepers. No, no. You must build your own then. Out, out! But red foxes don't build dens. Oh. What? Back door. Oh. Out, out! Side door. You got a lot of them. Out, out! Oh. Yes, yes. Arctic fox dens have many, many openings. So we can escape predators and intruders like Red Fox. Goodbye! <sighs> and now the last door is shut shut. What now? 
Look, the fact is, red fox fur isn't as thick as arctic fox fur, so uh, I'm gonna freeze out here. <sighs> Can I stay for just one night? After that, I, I look for my own place, I promise. <sighs> fine, fine. I don't want you to freeze. You can stay for one night then. Oh, oh, wait, wait! This is the Arctic! One night can last for over a month! Is that a fact? Well, don't worry, pal. You'll hardly know I'm here. You think this will work? If there are any more water frogs out there, they'll have a much better chance of hearing you this way. It's coming from downstream. Sit tight, Ernesto. We're going to investigate. There! Oh. Are you Suenka's water frogs? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, dear. You look sick. Shellington, do you think they might have? Mm, yes, they're showing symptoms of the fungus sickness. We do not feel good. My name's Peso, and I'm a medic. I have a special ointment that should make you feel better. Oh, be careful not to touch them. Why? Will we get sick? No, the fungus only affects amphibians like frogs, toads or salamanders. But we don't want to spread it to other locations or to other frogs like Ernesto. I'll be careful. Gracias, senor. Oh, that feels so much better. Good thing, too. Wouldn't want you getting Ernesto sick. Ernesto? Who is Ernesto? Ah, he's your cousin, I suppose. He's been looking for other Sewenkas water frogs like you. Do not know of any other Sewenkas water frogs? When can we meet this Ernesto? Unfortunately, not yet. I'm going to have to quarantine you until the fungus is completely gone from your skins. Quarantine? What is quarantine? You just have to stay in this bubble for a few days until the fungus is all gone so you don't spread the disease to the water or other creatures. We had to use clean water. I tested it to make sure there's no fungus in it. Oh, gracias, Senor Shellington. You're eager to be with another water frog, but we don't want to make him sick like us. That doesn't mean you can't meet him by Octo Watch. Ernesto, say hello to your new cousins. <laughs> hello. hello! I knew it! I knew that if I just kept calling out that someday I would find a family. Don't leave. No more. Wait, Ernesto! Mi familia! I am coming! Honey! You need to stop Ernesto. There's a fungus in this stream that could make him sick. We'd better keep an eye out for Ernesto before he gets too close to the stream. Already after him. Hello. Oh, have you spotted Ernesto? No, this is a call for help. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got this. Hold on, you don't leave any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See? No paw prints. Hmm, that little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake. Or we'll... We'll... <laughs> or you'll what? Watch out! He's venomous! Leave this to me! Pesky sand cat! Can't catch me! Yeah, well, I caught some of you! <laughs> Too slow again! Ah! These cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. See? Here's your backpack. 
Ah, oh, my wee little kitten whiskers. They're still here. A deal's a deal. You found the perfect spot to bury me treasure. <laughs> Even I couldn't find it here. You know, Sandy, not all pirates have to sail the seas. Huh? Sandy the Sand Cat, as an honorary pirate, it is your sworn duty to protect this treasure. Ah, protect this treasure. In exchange for a regular delivery of fish biscuits, courtesy of the Octonauts. Your treasure will be safe with me, Calico Jack, because I'm keeping my treasure with it. Shiver me whiskers. Is that your whisker? The one you lost when you tussled with that sand viper. Yeah, it's a memento of our first pirate adventure together. And a priceless treasure indeed. To the Octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond. <laughs>